this is crafty Chris and welcome to my channel today I am working on day 26 in my sunny days collection and I am on the page where it has a little place mat pull out and I think I'm going to go ahead and do a two, two day spread and but I think I'm only going to work on half of it I'll work on this half today and then this tomorrow but I want to use this graph paper as the background because I like the soft green I pulled a recipe for strawberry ice cream pie and then I found this illustration of strawberries and I think I want to utilize this scrapbooking pad to use to make tags. Right. So let's go ahead and get started. So I went ahead and cut down my um, graph paper. I started out this size and I cut it down to fit the, the background. So I'm going to save one for tomorrow and I'll go ahead and do this one today. All right. So I hope you guys had a really good day. My day was pretty good. I got a cutter, a um, one of those Fiskars um, paper cutters. Um, it's usually like 120 at Hobby Lobby. And I actually found it on Amazon for like $60. And normally I don't do like big, big spins like that. But um, I've been struggling keep with my um, paper cutters. Because they kept getting dull and everything. And I, you know, heard that that one has titanium blades and it it um, sharpens every time you use it so I was so tickled that I found it and I made a few like eBay sales so I had the money to buy it so I just went ahead and buy it and it was funny because I found it when I was looking I found it on Amazon when I was looking for uh, my blades for my our memory keepers trim and scoreboard and it's funny because they finally came in today and then I was I told my husband it's like you know I found the the Fiskars cutter that we saw at Hobby Lobby that was hundred twenty dollars it's like I found it on Amazon for like sixty I said as soon as I get sixty dollars I'm gonna get it and sure enough like the next day I sold enough you know items that I could get it I was so happy and if you're wondering I don't I'm selling I sell books and stuff on eBay it's not I sell homeschool stuff and not anything really that does deals with junk journaling <laughs> I don't know maybe one day I'll start listing some but I don't know alright so I like how that looks I'll go ahead and glue this I won't be able to put as big of a tag there um, Let's see, so I have, I was so happy to find this, and then I have this from a, it's actually a recipe book that was made, let's see, 1970 Students of Grace Lutheran School, and it was, I guess they made it at the school. 
And basically what it is, is, um, here I'll show you. It was really funny because they had du a duplicate page. So they had two of these. And they just, this is the paper. And it's in the book like this. So they just copied it and then folded it over and then punched holes. So that's really cool. I like that. Well, I was planning on doing a copy, but since this one was a duplicate, I went ahead and I'm using the original. I think that looks kind of cool. I want to keep with the theme of um, the strawberries and stuff. I do have, I pulled some strawberry pages from some books. So I'll have this. That would make a nice tag. Maybe I'll make that into a tag. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and cut out a tag. And I may just add this recipe to it. But that's kind of plain now that I look at it. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Okay, so this is um, the tag. I put the strawberry paper on the front and I um, put the graph paper on there and it looks like I touched the ink pad. That's okay. So I like how that looks. I'm going to see if I have any trim left. I do have some of that left. I like how this looks, the red and the yellow. I like how that looks. Yeah, I'm going to decorate this. Okay, I'm going to put the strawberry ice cream pie on this side, I think. Because that clashes. So, I finally use it. <laughs> This paper is really thin. So I'll probably try to do this as light as possible. Okay, so I went ahead and added the date sticker right there. Really like how this looks. Hey, this is morning and um, I had to stop last night because it was just getting really late and I had to fussy cut and decided to just finish this the next morning. And also, I remembered I had another book that might have strawberries in it. And this is it right here. It's called Wildflowers. I absolutely love this book. It's a field guide in color to wildflowers. And it is the 1987 version. And it has one page of illustrations and then the other page has the information so you don't have to pick and choose what color you want 
Also, it's color coordinated by uh, by flower, which is really nice when you need a certain color. And so what I did is I pulled out the strawberry page, which is this one right here. And I picked this one to put down here. I also had this it's just from a normal garden book that you find, you know, at any thrift store. And so I pulled the one for strawberry and I'm going to make a little, um, just a little thing right here for it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and back it with scrapbook paper like I did before. I'm going to put it right here to pick up the red. Oh, right there's good. I there's strawberries right there, so I want to get that. I didn't even see the strawberries before. That's so cool. I think I'm gonna use my not the art glitter glue because this paper is kind of thin. But normally, right now, I'd be doing my journaling from the night before. Just do better in the morning writing. If my sinuses have started acting up. I know this is not the, um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't cut out the strawberry very good, but I love how that looks. I was afraid it was going to be too much, but I think this is going to be fine. Actually, I think I might need to trim this down because of how it was closing. So I will have to, um, it's nice having the grid lines. So I have to re-ink this one. I'm going to trim it down just to give it um, a little bit more space at the bend. Yeah, that feels better. It still slides down. I might have to put a paper clip right here. And I think I'm out of the littles. There's one. There we go. Let's see if that helps. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, that makes it close easier. All right. That'll work. I was thinking I could put something else on here. Okay, so I went through um, my trims, and I think I like this one just to add a little pizzazz to it.
this put the strawberry plant right here I don't know. I just not loving the blue. Yep. I don't like it. I like that better. I think I may or may not change this out. I don't know. I'm not liking the yellow as much as I did last night because, you know, last night I didn't have all these here. All right. All right. So here's my entry for today. So I have the strawberry um, information from the garden book and I used uh, some scrapbook paper behind it. I used um, some crochet trim and this is a fussy cut strawberry plant. I added a recipe card of strawberry ice cream pie and then this is my journaling card. Alright, so I hope you guys have a super blessed day, and until next time.